Hey guys, welcome back to Growing Up Godly. It's just me today and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the story of my move, why I did it, and the process from start to finish of making that decision and moving all the way to a new state um, away from my hometown and my parents. So as many of you know, I worked at Chick-fil-A for many years, um, but December of 2021, I just was hitting a spot where I needed a change of pace and I didn't know it at the time, but the Lord was shifting my heart towards something new and something different. And uh, shortly after I started having those feelings and those concerns, the Lord brought up another job opportunity. And while it was really hard to leave Chick-fil-A, um, it was a great move for me to just be able to do something different. So I did that job for 12 months. It was basically I signed on for a 12 month commitment just to help them through some things. Um, but at the end of that, they no longer needed me. And so I had to be let go, which I knew was coming, um, but it came to the question of what's next. So in February of 2023, um, I was essentially jobless and praying, Lord, what's next for me? What do you have for me? Um, I had had some thoughts about moving out and my plan was to move out of my parents' home. Um, but I really did not consider moving away. Um, but little did I know <laughs> that's what the Lord had planned for me. So at the end of February, I got a call from an operator, um, at another Chick-fil-A away from my hometown, offering me a full-time position with his restaurant. And it kind of came as a shock. I had met this operator one other time through some mutual friends, um, but was not expecting a phone call or anything. And... To be completely honest, I was honored to be called, but really wasn't fully considering it. I, I told him I would pray about it, and I did do that, but I just didn't think it was realistic for me to just go back to Chick-fil-A, move away from home for a Chick-fil-A job, and I just, I wasn't sure about it. I really was not planning on making that big of a move, um, but as I was praying about it, I just felt that, hey, maybe this is something the Lord wants me to do. Um, months went by, uh, March and April, and I wasn't getting any other job opportunities in my hometown, which was very surprising. Um, I attended a very large church, and so there were a lot of connections, and a lot of people were so sweet to say that they would hire me, um, but no actual job offers were coming my way. So I decided to come up to this Operator's Chick-fil-A and Shadow. And I just wanted to see what it was like, what the culture was like there, how the leadership was structured, and just see if I would be a good fit as well as if it would be a good fit for me. Um, I thought it would be kind of a, okay, let's see if this is going to work type of trip so I could know, not knowing that I would end up falling in love with the leadership, with the team, and with the idea of moving more than I ever had through this whole process. Um, I also met... Um, someone who also worked there and was looking at moving out and asked her if, you know, just out of the blue, if she would be willing to move in to like an apartment with me. And she actually said yes, which was a really big indicator that, okay, maybe the Lord is opening doors for this move to happen. So May rolls around. I have to give them a decision by the end of the month. And I'm still struggling with is this the right thing? I didn't want to move just to move because I knew going away from my hometown and my family and my friends and my church home was going to be so hard that if this wasn't God's will, then I was going to really struggle being up here. Um, but every door just kept opening. I would be like, okay, Lord, if you want me to move, please make this happen or please let this happen. Um, and he was so gracious to understand that that's what I needed. And he gave me each and everything that I was just asking for more of just for more confirmation from him. And so at the end of May, while I was still kind of nervous, I knew in my heart that this was God's will for my life. Um, my dad actually came and talked to me after I'd been out of town for a little while. Um, and he, he said, you're supposed to move. And it was such a big thing for me because in my heart, I knew it at the time, but I wanted my parents to be on board as another confirmation that this is the Lord's will. Um, just because, you know, I'm still young and I don't trust my myself all the time. So just knowing that my parents um, felt the same way and had their blessing on it, like that really meant a lot to me. So the fact that my dad said that without me having to say anything was just like, okay, this is it. 
I had a roommate. Um, I had an incredible job with the pay I really wanted um, to be able to afford to live up here as well as still be able to give and have um, flexible finances. And I just was amazed at how the Lord had worked out every single detail. And then I accepted the job offer without a place to live. And that was really the only thing that I needed and came up here at the end of June to do some apartment shopping and ended up finding this townhouse that I'm in right now. And I won't go into all of the details, but the Lord really worked through this situation as well to get it to the rent that me and my roommate wanted. Um, it's a beautiful place, new construction, which I would have never dreamed of. And it has been absolutely amazing living here. We each have our own space, but then we also have a common area downstairs, the living room, kitchen, dining room. Um, and it's just been the perfect mix of having space, but also living with someone and just building that friendship. So I've been here for a little over a month and I just want to say it has been amazing. God has been so, so good to answer so many prayers of just sustaining me during this time, giving me community. I've already found a church home, um, connecting with my roommate even more. And if you're in a season where God is calling you to something big, I just want you to say, take that step of faith. It has grown me so much in ways I can't even express um, and I wish I could share more of the details of just the little things the Lord did. Um, but it just, it still amazes me to this day how he opened every single door. And even though I was kept being like, okay, give me another sign. Give me another sign. Give me another sign. He was so gracious to do that. And just to make it very clear that this is where I was supposed to be. And of course I miss home and I miss my friends and I miss my parents and I miss my church back home. But I have found so much joy being up here and it has caused me to rely on the Lord in a new way that I never had to do when I had a community of people that I'd grown up around uh, surrounding me. And it has been such a faith growing experience and so fun just to kind of figure out life on my own. And yeah, I'm so thankful that the Lord brought me here. I'm so thankful for this journey. And I hope that this is encouraging to you as well, just to hear my story um, with anything that you're going through, whether it's deciding what school you're going to go to, deciding what career path you're going to choose, um, deciding if this is the right relationship for you, whatever it is that God is with you, just ask him for wisdom and ask him for discernment. And he is so gracious to give it to us, even multiple times if we're doubting. Um, but yeah, that's the story of my move in a nutshell. Um, it was kind of a whirlwind at the same time of like, I felt like it dragged of, I need to make this decision. I need to make this decision, but coming out, um, the other end, it's just like, wow, I can't believe that happened by getting the call in February, making the decision at the end of May, and then moving up here mid August. It's just been crazy, but it's been amazing. And God is so, so good. Well guys, thank you so much for watching my story about my move. I hope it was encouraging to you. Um, and I pray that the Lord uses my story to help build your faith and help show you to take that step of faith in whatever area you're needing to right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.